boy lamb we got 633 and welcome to another episode of conversation cruiser we got another great episode for you guys today so just like always i got my boys that review now jay guards mine and ben blessing we are the four guys this is the pg cruiser and without further ado let's, let's get, get this, this conversation, conversation rolling we're rolling they see me rolling they hate them <laughs> wow we're, we're leaving trying. that in I don't, yeah we're i don't trying. care that's that's a keeper right there. <laughs> hey guys, you, got, you guys, you just learned the number one lesson in comedy. What? Timing. Yeah. Yep. Like, like I said, I, I yeah. will repeat this until the day I die. You can't make this shit up. Until it writes itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hey, we're filming though, so. Yeah. So, so we got it on camera, so. <laughs> without further ado, are we ready to drive around aimlessly and talk cluelessly? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. I think we should start the episode off strong by doing our stupid place name segment. Because let's face it, we have stupid place names of the world, and it's our job to ridicule, make fun of them, and do them justice. Yup. Fucking yeah. hell in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned that in the All last episode. Right, right, the place world. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do you still think of it? And and we begin today's stupid place name segment with. Long place name, because my mom right now is currently in Wales, and that just made me think of a really long place name in Wales. I cannot pronounce it, but I'll try my best. Um, I believe it's called Limfair. I, I, I told you I can't pronounce yeah. it. Yeah, what is with like European places and having almost unpronounceable names and unpronounceable yeah, names? Well, could be worse. There's a place in New Zealand called. Well, I can't pronounce it either. But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Uh, it starts with a T and it's basically a hill. Yeah. Tom of the top of it. Oh, just remind me. I'm sorry if we butcher any of these names. It's just. It's just that we, we cannot freaking pronounce it. Yeah, I cannot speak in your holy tongue, okay? Yeah. <laughs> The only place, the only long place name I can pronounce, yeah. and it's here in the U.S. It's in Webster, Massachusetts, and it's called Lake Chagigagman Chagigag Chagigagumgabog, home of the Nimbic Indians. Yeah. They should have cut that name off like right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. It makes it a little bit easier to pronounce. Well, actually, if you go look that up on Wikipedia, it'll probably say something like uh, Lake Chagigagumgabog or something. I don't know. But I'd rather pronounce it the full name. I'd rather try to do the full name. Yeah, there you go. Um, however, there is one more place name that's longer than the New Zealand place. Oh no. Um, I don't know. Uh, we need to count how many letters are in each name. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's in India or something, and the first two words are from that. <laughs> just, just go look it up and if you can find something on Google or Google. Yeah, how do you spell that? Uh, K-R-U-N-G space T-A-T-P and then yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You can find it's not a good but we've kept at him. Which one we should try spelling it. A C Flem. I cannot get it on the straight face. Uh, you know, Flemish is a real language. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's that's one version of Flemish. I think I read some <laughs> that's longest. Name. But no, there there are two different versions of Flemish. The one you the one you did, and then um, um well, it, it's a Jewish language, pretty much. Like, so. I think I read somewhere the. That, but the seriously, wait, hold on, Jake. Yeah, I was about to say. I think I read somewhere that the longest name place in the world is is one word and it has like eighty six total letters. Damn. Well, isn't that the place in New Zealand? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I remember the longest word in the English language is actually a biological name for a protein. It is 264 yeah. characters long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, why? So, as I was saying before, um, basically, when a Jewish baby is born, it's born with a bunch of phlegm. And it's, mm. and it's not. And basically, and you guys should know this because 
Jewish people, they were wandering around in the desert and they had to keep the phlegm going, otherwise they wouldn't make it to the next water hole. Oh yeah, they had to keep flowing down the side. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but I always, I always, yeah, I'm not even Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Jewish, I'm not Catholic, I'm not Christian. I don't I'm really Jewish. know, I don't really study. I have no idea. I'm thinking of the Bible, and it just appeared real quick. Yeah. Um, we need to stop interpreting, we need to stop misinterpreting the Old Testament. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. Oh yeah, yeah no, seriously. When we were dealing with Hurricane Katrina, right? Right. Um, and it's like, while we were fighting the terrorists, God pretty much bit us in the ass. And it's like, how come when we misinterpret the Old Testament and shit like that happens, that it's not seen as some sort of retribution? Yeah, it's all like... Stop misinterpreting the Old Testament, you, you know? The Jewish God scared the shit out of you. So you had to come up with this nice kid. That's your book. You know, one time I actually saw a picture on the internet. A tornado had ravaged through like this old like farming community. Yeah. And in the middle of it was still a pristine Oldsmobile Tornado. Oh, you'll have to show me that sometime. I don't know what I ever did with that picture. It's yeah, so funny. It was a 70 Tornado. Or 69 Tornado. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, Maybe tornado. like a pop-up headlight. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. mint condition. It was like standing in the middle of all the all the incredibly just destroyed everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, tornado, tornado. Yeah, oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's the only thing to survive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but like, yeah, there's a lot of tornadoes in this, like, like, this, Atlanta, Atlanta, I think they were doing something last Friday, or Friday. Yeah. We were talking about it. Uh, there was a tornado outbreak in 1999. Yeah, 1999, Oklahoma City. Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, no, yeah like, it looked like that kind of film quality, like the 90s. No, 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 no,
they're squared off, that's a hell of a lot of stress in the, in the air. Yeah. Well, no. square windows, that's a hell of a lot of stress on the fuse. Well, no, but... Um, they it, run around these days. Yeah. Well, yeah, the cargo door failure, that was a design flaw. Oh, like what happened? Well, the first one that crashed, or well, actually it didn't crash, but the first one that had the failure was American Flight 96. Uh-huh. And I think 72. Uh-huh. Um, the cargo door blew out. They were able to land the plane, though. Oh, wow. Because, I mean, the floor had collapsed in, but only some of the hydraulics were severed. So wow. they were able to maintain control of the plane, and they, they, they were able to land it again. Wow. Uh, two years later, though, uh, Turkish Airlines Flight 981, you, a lot of you might remember this, uh -huh. but uh, Turkish Airlines Flight 981 had the exact same failure, wow. the floor collapsed, except all of the, all of the hydraulics were severed and it crashed and killed everybody. Uh -huh. And basically that's what led to the DC-10 being grounded for a while. Wow. And then in 1979, and this wasn't a cargo door, but American Airlines Flight 191, that was uh, that was the one that crashed in Chicago after the uh, engine fell off of it. Right. And that was due to improper maintenance. Yeah. yeah. And that one killed everybody as well. And, and then there was uh, Air New Zealand Flight 901, but that was just pilot error. Mm. But all of those crashes led to the BC 10s uh, airworthiness certificate being revoked for a while. I mean, they were able to reinstate it later on. But um, at that point, the, the, the damage has been pretty much done. Hey guys, I'm looking at this guy's license plate right now. XXX. Uh, it's porn. a porn car. Uh, like a porn bus. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool if we saw that again. <laughs> no, see, the plane crash from, 19, uh, from 1982 that I remember is Air Florida Flight 90. Hmm. That was a 737 that crashed into the Potomac River after it crashed into the 14th Street Bridge. Um, it was yeah. engine icing. Oh well, yeah, this this one like happened on in January. And you, it, I, I, as you know, in January all all the roads are icy. Yeah. Well, and and and, and if, we're, if we're talking about and, and since all the roads are icy, that means all the runways are icy. Yeah. Right. So it it, it lands. Hold on. Go keep going, Ben. It lands and then it skids right on the ice, crashes right into the airport. I, I don't know. I think everybody survived. Yeah. There, have, there have been other instances of uh, planes getting off the yeah, runway. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think of the Boeing 307 Stratoliner? Oh yeah, that I remember that. The other beautiful, yeah. beautiful oh, Actually, yeah. there was one that crashed in the 50s. Yeah. It was a uh, Pan Am Flight 6. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah I remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was a 307. Uh, 307. Yeah. It crashed into the Pacific Ocean after a engine failure. Right. Everybody survived miraculously. Damn. And I think that, that was like back in the 50s. Yeah, and then using 1930s technology. Yeah. If that. That, was like, that had to be like one of the world's first successful ditching. Wow. Yeah. This was before the Miracle on the Hudson. Oh yeah, way yeah. before. But I think it's over, over 50 years. Yeah. You know um, British Airways Flight 9? Yeah. That 747 that flew into volcanic ash? Mm -hmm. They were thinking about ditching that plane too. But it came out. Yeah. Yeah, it was able to get the engine restarted again. By getting all the ash out. Uh, yeah, well, Did it have to glide it or something? Yes, 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 yes. And, and wow. you gotta imagine how fucking hard it has to be to glide a big fucking 747. Well, the wings expand like that. Yeah, it, it can't be that hard. Well, I mean, the problem is you have no, like, power uh, of anything. Yeah, you have to use manual control, and that's gonna fucking stress you to the max. It's going to not stress you, but stress the plane in the flat yeah. and the aileron hinges. Oh shit, you know China Airlines Flight 6? Yeah. Was, there was another 747, it was a smaller one, yeah. uh, an SP. Yeah. Um, it, it, it fell out of the sky over the Pacific Ocean. Hmm. It, it didn't crash, hmm. but um, they were able to get it under control and landed in San Francisco. Oh damn. But it, it got pretty stressed. Like it freaking bent the wings up by like a couple of inches. Yeah. yeah. And it tore off the landing gear doors. Wow. wow. But they were still able to land it safely, right? Yes. Like, yeah. That is just crazy. Yeah. I could not and I learned a lot of this on a little documentary called Why Planes Crash. 
I'm not jerking any of your chains, all right? <clears throat> but seriously, Crystal Pepsi, I love the way it looks. I love the way it tastes. You know, clear Pepsi, how can you go wrong with that? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you don't need that brown food dye. Yeah, 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 seriously. You mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. And plus, it looks like you're drinking water, kind of. Well, well, carbonated water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like our... And it tastes like Pepsi. <laughs> you know, it's, the first word in it is Crystal, and the can is blue. No, 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 no. If it's Crystal, no, Crystal Pepsi, um, the label's white. Mmm, <laughs> Breaking Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> You're breaking good. Yeah. yeah. Pepsi for TV game. 
Yeah. Um, Remember that Pepsi for president. <laughs> Get Pepsi no. for smash. Pepsi for funeral. Uh, <laughs> bruh. No, 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 guys. Bruh. No, 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 guys. Remember, remember how, uh, and, 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 Up the climax, we have the heaven gate. Like up the climax. <laughs> There's the second. <laughs> oh. And then, and, then, and then we went, and then think about it, we went up, and then the climax was, or no, or no. There yeah. it is again. <laughs> and then, Bruh. Sorry. What but are then we? The, the climax, but then the, uh, but then, but then we went the to the middle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Then we, then we went into the middle, because in the middle, we had, you know, Tennessee and Bay in the federal building in 95. Yeah. And then. And, and then the climax was, was 9-11, and then it just went downhill after that. Hey, dude, by the way, yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, um, when, we were ta- when we were doing the 9-11 special, we were talking about people getting fired after, you know, massive fuck-ups. Yeah. Now, you were talking about that, that guy at Enron or whatever. Yeah. Um, I got another example that hadn't crossed my mind until recently. Hmm. Um, George Tenet, he was the former head of the CIA. Right. He was the head of the CIA when 9-11 occurred. Okay. And basically you're the head of the CIA, right? And this shit occurs. Mm-hmm. Your job is to make sure that that shit doesn't happen. Oh, yes. But when, if 9-11 occurs and you're the head of the CIA, yeah. uh, and he stays in charge, like, you know, if I went to work every day at FedEx and I just set the packages on fire, I deserve to get my ass kicked. If you went to work, if you worked at Burger King and you just shit on the shit on the patties, Put lettuce. you would get fired. You yeah, would be gone. Be... They would come to you and say, "Get the fuck out of here." Put yeah, they deserve like they deserve to get like a place like get out of there for that. Yeah, but, where, but where did the world? That's what I said. Where did the world go after it's that? It's time like, to introduce a new segment. Like, like, Dumb idea of the day. Straight pipe you know Tesla. Yeah, move on. Oh God. On. Yeah. You know what I wouldn't like? What? If your house was on a sharp bend. And you had a fence there, and people would just crash onto your lawn every other day. Hmm. That actually reminds me of someone drove a Ferrari Scott Letty. Yeah. Did I, even, did I even pronounce it? Is that an old one or a new one? Like from the early, like late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Ferrari 312 Scott Letty. Um, I'll have to look that up. I think so. I think, no, it's 512. No, it's not. Um, yeah. Anyway, someone had driven it underneath the SUV in their garage. Uh huh. Setting the SUV through through the ceiling. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. Was it a blue Ford F-150? Yes. Yes, I've seen that picture! <laughs> God damn it, how actually, dumb are you? Actually, no, I don't think it was a 512, I think it was a 360 Modena. Yeah, but god damn, how dumb do you have to be to do like, that? Yes! Yes, I remember that picture, I saw it in a video. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me how, bitch, but why? <laughs>
a piece of the engine cowling fell off onto the runway after it took off. Oh yeah, the Concorde kicked it up there. Yeah. No, 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 no. The Concorde ran over the strip. Um, it blew up the tires. Pieces of the rubber hit, went up, hit the tank, um, hit the fuel tank. Oh yeah, it was like lot that it ruptured. Yeah, sent out a shockwave that ruptured the weakest point since jet fuel sprayed out of the hot engine part and it caught fire. Damn. Yeah. Are they able to stop it in time? Right on. Yeah. I heard, oh, damn. I heard they were going to break back oh, the it, Concorde and like spray it for sonic flights. Yeah, 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 yeah. United Airlines made that announcement, but you said, Yeah, and it fell through. Yeah. You know what, guys? Let's just agree that supersonic flight is not coming back, okay? Well, let's hope it actually does. No, I mean, supersonic, yeah. the supersonic passenger flight I mean, is not coming back. Not for a while. Though. That time is over. And oh, come on, dude. Guys, guys, seriously. If you want to fly supersonic, join the Air Force or something, okay? Because you can fly supersonic and get paid. <laughs> yeah. True. Like is, Top that's my Top Gun song. That's my Top Gun song. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's my Top Gun top tip. <laughs> but, nice. Yeah. But guys, uh, Top Gun radar tip we're moving like forward for the airplanes, but, uh, <laughs> pedo but, uh, tip. Oh, no. For people that are watching no, 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 no. I'm referencing the pedo tubes on planes. Oh. oh people, yeah. For people that are watching this, do the do and for people that are watching this, but uh, do you think they should bring back Monster Jam to the Reno event? Didn't they do that a couple of years they, ago? Yeah, I yeah, think they are, but though. They've they, they they a livestock event, so yeah, they did. Yeah, but they've got the COVID issues. Yeah. 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 I don't know if they brought it back this year. I don't know, but... But they need to bring back Monster Jam. Thank you. Monster Jam is like, it's like, you know, the event of the... That is pretty fun, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. 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 Yeah, if it's an indoor facility, you know. Hey, which monster truck was it that jumped over that plane sideways? Yeah. And then completely stuck the landing back in the 90s? Uh, I don't know. I remember this one in, there was like a 737, I think. Wait, what? Yeah, it flew over the entire wingspan. Oh. And this was Monster Jam? No, it was one monster truck that did it by itself. Yeah. Oh. And it's saying again, book world record for the longest monster truck jump. Oh, I'll yeah, have to look that, that up, actually. That's it. That's, that's some interesting conversation. Ooh, there's another yeah. CA. Yeah, and we get distracted by cars. I remember this one monster. I remember this one monster jam in Reno, though. <laughs> I don't remember if I was there or not, but. This is the ultimate FML moment. moment. This <laughs> one where Grape Digger really got so high he hit the scoreboard and it started to like rock. Uh, oh, oh, God! Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember that. Wait, I don't did think it tear open your Grape Digger's body shell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Yeah, the scoreboard didn't fall, though, but it was close. Did it tear off Grape Digger's body shell? I think so, a little it bit, was, but yeah. yeah that you guys are going to have to show me all of this yeah. shit, because yeah. I, I, I hardly so hard remember any of it. He hit the scoreboard and it started... I never actually like, saw like, that. And this I, was in I, Vegas? No, it was in Reno. There was one that hit, like, the... Oh, oh, yeah, okay. You know, like, the top one that they don't really use anymore? Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Uh, no, the one I remember is that Grave Digger, like, I think it was that, like, Oh, well, if it's Reno, they probably don't have a lot of, uh, many weapons of it. Grave Digger, and it was looking right, and, like, he gave the tricks, and he flipped over, and... How long have you been recording for? Uh, about half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah, and, well, I have to do... Well, it is soon, though. Yeah, but he flipped over, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the end of the set. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Wasn't it a great digger who did like that, like two or three backflips and land on his wheel? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Hey guys, go to the Reno Land Center, so make sure if yeah. you're ever here, come to the site monster jam before, you know, in a rodeo. Was a, a 240? I didn't see it. No, it was a 240 with a spoiler. <laughs> Well, not not like a drip wire. Yeah, not it's like a, like a two forty. It's just like, like a regular top wire. Yeah, SX. Hang out. Hang out. SX. Two forty. Two forty. It's an SSR. Yeah. 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 I don't like top tickets. I hate those wheels though. Yeah. I like the SSR. Someone actually put the put an entire body kit, a fifty nine Chevrolet El Camino around it. Yeah. Wait, did they actually do that? Yeah. I can shoot a picture of it too. Well, not right now though, but it is an E thirty eight. Oh, hey guys, 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 guys. I know, some, I know something we can talk about right now. Um, since we were talking about jobs earlier, um, I can tell you that um, the government looks at resumes, okay? I mean, I've worked in state government, but I mean, I'm really talking about the federal government here, but the state government, they could look at resumes too. I've worked in the state government, even though it was for five weeks, yeah, but they look at resumes, and, but seriously though, guys, oh, what was that you said? Oh, yeah, 
prejudicial remark you cannot be prejudiced but I mean you know it's like it's the same type of prejudice as you know what the types of things we'd say about Jewish people long ago because mm -hmm. literally we would say that on Passover the, Jew the Jews would go into a Christian community and grab a Christian baby and kill it and we all know that's bullshit oh yeah hey guys we just hit 177,000 miles four miles ago nice yeah, you know, I've actually been thinking about um, the, the, the you know the unbelievable job that we were doing in New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, back yeah. back when Hurricane Katrina was heading. Yeah. Um, you know, here's what I find disturbing: the inability of some people to understand why someone would use profanity. I mean, especially during these times, because let's say, you know, what 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 words do you use on? Let's say the third year of a deadly pandemic that's killing millions of people. And you're watching your own country that's turning into the third world before your very eyes. What words do you use? Oh, look at that. Titty sprinkles. The words that keep coming out of my mouth are holy shit. And you know, same thing when her, her same thing when Katrina was wailing on New Orleans back in the <laughs> shit was yeah. here. Why don't we can do we can But seriously though, it's like and you know, when George Bush heard about it, you know, he cut his vacation two days short. And but you know, after that he responds, goddamn, he went right up to Colorado to the defense command. Hey guys, you know, the the energy bill that we passed many years ago? Mm -hmm. It's like we have had for the last 50 years the opportunity to do something about solar energy. Yeah. yeah. But the fact is that nobody can really figure out solar energy. And I think the reason for that is because the sun goes away every day and nobody can, nobody really knows where it goes. Yeah, like in the night time, it might be useful. I have an idea. Hey, hey guys, guys, guys. You know where I think the sun sets? Yeah. Arizona. That's why the rocks over there are always so red. Oh, Story. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the floods, floods in the Netherlands and shit. Yeah. You know, they're supposed to be equipped to deal with this shit. And yet they're not able to right now. Yeah. What the fuck's up with that? I don't want to be, I, I just don't, don't get kind of like pickups still there. Yep. Yeah. I don't want to change anyone's. I don't want to sway anyone, but I just don't get why some people still believe that climate change is not real. Like, it 
not! I like that. Like all the weather we've been having and stuff. And, like, and I've already explained to you guys how I think fall is the most bull bullshit month, you know, bullshit season of the year. Fall is a month. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I yeah, 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 yeah. I've already explained how fall is the most bullshit time of the year when the weather cannot make up its fucking mind. It's, you know, first, first yeah. it's hot, then it's cold, and it just goes back and forth. Yeah. And, you know, you never have the proper coat or anything. It's to do an idea, wear a short sleeve shirt, shorts, and then top it out. Yeah. We're oh. men, we don't. Yeah. Or do what I do, just stay inside and play on the computer all day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way out of or there. do what I do and go or do what I do and like just go outside and just. I mean, just enjoy it while you can, like when the weather's preferable. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes, like rain and snow will actually like you know. I mean, literally. Like, yeah, literally. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hey, imagine if you could just like go up to a big map, and if a hurricane's coming at you, you could just yell, STOP! STOP! <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe that's why you know, that, mm, bleh, I, had, I had a joke there and I fucked it up. Bruh. It's not too late. Go ahead with it. Who remembers that? I guess that that's why Bush thought it wasn't so bad when he came back, because he looked at it and went, Ooh. <laughs> had his Bible open and everything. The power of prayer! The power of prayer! You guys remember it, like, that one night of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I had the, the book. Yeah, I had the book. Yeah. The book. But, um, anyway, also, um, I think we should, uh, finish, finish the show today with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. speaking of the power of prayer, um, I, I read recently that, um, the mayor of Jackson, Mississippi had said that we could, that he could, you know, Get his citizens to fix the city's many potholes through the power of prayer. Mm. And you know what? Hey guys, for all my local viewers, if you're watching this, after the video, I want you guys to form just a giant prayer group and then get out there, because you know we all know that 580 is the worst when it comes to potholes. You guys can agree with me. So yeah, yeah. Oh hell, you know, tomorrow, why don't you just get out there or early in the morning early in the morning? Early in the morning. <laughs> and just fucking give it your all. Okay? And, and try to do it early before traffic hits. <laughs> or hit you. Yeah. Before traffic hits. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, around 9 o'clock it's just like before, yeah, it's just rush block. hour. Yeah. Has, has anyone here heard of like that one that one time where that uh, kid was actually like dying of cancer? And then and then there was an operation that was done on him and it was success. And then he's like, Daddy, why were you cursing at God? And he, there's no way he could have known that. The, the father was actually like saying, God damn it, why does this happen? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, seriously, the kid was in the operating room. There's no way he could have known about that. Yeah. Wow. So and this movie is called Heaven is for Real. Yeah, there was no, like, recordings or anything? Like, no, none. It's called Heaven is for Real. Look it up if you guys got a chance. Uh, really fucking powerful. So guys, what did you think of today's very interesting episode of Conversation Cruiser? As you said, it was interesting. <laughs> As was it, I mean, it did fit the motto. We did drive aimlessly and talk cruelessly, so... And cruelessly? Right. Cruelessly. <laughs> yeah, here I am just sitting around. I'm going to do a one-man show next time. No! Uh, Come on, you guys. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll see about that, you know. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, but it's gonna be really hard, you know, driving along, and then I gotta get in the other seat, and yeah. I gotta respond to my own shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's not gonna work. Why not next week when? When nothing happens. Yeah, when pretty yeah. much it's just probably the same not old next shit. week, but um, um, next as episode. you guys know, yeah. probably you know, or probably not, I don't know, but um, our one year anniversary is coming up on October 14th, so stick around for the Conversation Cruiser one year anniversary special. It's going to be a very special episode, and we're going to probably, um, I don't know, what do you guys want to do for that uh, special? Mm. Mm. We like, we I'll see like... if I can get Irene uh, registered and insured by that time. Anyway, we can just drive around the neighborhood. Mm. Well, yeah. that'll, that, we that, can... that'll probably, that's the... Um, to do a Riviera review? Or we could do like... Yeah. The Riviera review or something? Yeah. yeah. You know what we could do? We could do like maybe a... Uh... Maybe Conversation Cruiser season one best moments or something. Oh yeah, like blooper like oh, yeah, like, 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 reel. Oh yeah, like maybe after the episode or something? Yeah, do like the blooper reel. Yeah, do like the blooper reel. Like, the whole time. Yeah. Maybe like top five Conversation <clears throat> Cruiser moments of all time or something. Yeah, Mayor Humdinger's Tower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the dick jokes. Here, have my stick. Yeah. No <laughs> Which cares. I don't want, Nobody by the way. Nobody cares. 
But um, you want this? Come and get it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to end the episode here. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell icon because as others would say, we know YouTube don't give a fuck. And also go follow me on Twitter at LG633 and go check out the official Savage Second Twitter fan page at ShyGreenPT. And also go follow my boys Jake and Ben at... You can follow me at JakeyGoat996 and... UNR, and for me, at UNR Bless Me, which I haven't posted anything in a while, so... so. So, so be on the lookout for if I start posting more, more yeah. stuff again. Yeah. And be on the lookout for Irene 64 Riviera. Uh, she will be on there soon. All right. We're really yep. going to get the hell off of here today. And we will see you guys in, in the, the next video. video.